Oh, I swear, oh, I did not know you said there's no fucking death row pieces, man. I love you. I want death row, bitch. Yeah, low. I ain't even giving low his shit. I'm doubling up to, to death row James. I'm just noticing you said. What it is, good people of the blogosphere is coffee. Back with the news, man, and you heard that there, Gilly and Wallow get themselves a death row chain. Snoop just gave these things out to everyone, right? Everyone and their mama got one. Jamie Foxx got one when they did that vampire movie, etc. Um, it's cool, you know. I I like what do you guys think? I thought the death row. Did you guys ever think there was a chance that he was really gone? try to build the label back up you know when he announced he had obtained the rights and everything like that um i mean death row obviously probably could never get it back to the historical place that it was originally you can never replicate that but i like snoop was talking some good ish like yo i'm gonna use it to jump off all kinds of talent on the west up and coming artist i i i ish like that and, um, you know, he, he was saying, like, I could have been doing that. And then now, I don't know, he ain't really doing ish with it. I, I wonder, though, if it anything has to do with that one rapper that he tried to rock with. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of some, like, goofball-ish and things went left. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Did that fuck it up? Was it done before it started? Yeah, the record is different. The record, this is like uh, classic TV. And winding up here, Nas, did you see the movie Belly 2 at all? Because no. you were in Belly 1. Didn't see it. And lastly, Nas, I have a gift for you right here. A weed man hat. I don't know nothing about that. It's from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and it comes with special instructions there on the weed man hat. And if you see what the instructions say at the bottom... Say no to drugs, kids. All right. Well, thanks so much, Nas. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? You are fucking nuts. You are fucking psycho. But it's all love. It's all music. Peace. Thanks so much, Nas. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Peace. Almost, Nas. Do do the loot do. Yo, it's over. All right, it's over. It's over. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. Thanks for my So I don't know how I never saw this before, man. Like I've watched a lot of Nardwire interviews. I saw this one coming across the timeline today on this date and hip hop shared it. And Nas was just like, like, why did Nardwire go for the do 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 ish? You could already tell the energy was all bad. I wonder what did it. Cause that's just a piece in an interview, you know, like Nardwire does his ish. He, he, you know, he rocks how he does or whatever. But um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen one go bad like that before. Have y'all? If you have, comment below. But um, Belly 2, yo, they shouldn't, like, that should not have been called Belly 2, man. Surprise to the game. He was in that Waist Deep movie. That seemed like a, a pretty big movie. I enjoyed it. And, like, I don't know. He couldn't really ever seem to get any more roles. I don't know. He was in Street Kings also. But it is what it is. But anyone who saw the whole interview, was it that, like, was it already going bad? Or was it when he gave him that J.J. Records, Dino Might, J.J. Evans record, Dino Might jump off? Is that what it was? I don't know. Yo, we got Chris Brown here on a tour, chilling with some fans. I'm going to just leave this here and let y'all tap in on that. I don't even know what to say. So I ain't going to say ish. But y'all y'all tell me what comes to mind for y'all. You see all those lap dance videos he's doing now this i don't know man breezy man should have left them d rugs alone alone a long time ago all right y'all so i gotta tap into a little political ish as always i really want to know you know like what everyone thinks as I, I, on all topics but when it comes to the political ish like I, I just don't dive in all the way you know it gets so crazy everyone want to kill each other but uh reportedly more or less like I guess Trump is wild, too, because on the live stream, I was just talking with the bro Casey about uh, Truth Social. You know how I guess that's kind of like Trump's thing. I, I don't know if he owns it. Does he own it? But, um, you know, it's just he, Casey was saying, like, typically, you know, like if you Google about something, uh, a news topic, 
you'll get tweets about it you'll get facebook posts you'll get things off the gram but like truth social don't hit the blogosphere like that and um in this situation they're referencing a true social post but they don't actually have it and it's kind of wild too because they're saying he did the old post and delete and um you know uh, allegedly i guess he posts something with a strap with a heater and um i don't know i guess he was addressing the manhattan district attorney alvin bragg and you know uh, what these reports are saying is that like a source close to trump has been speaking to the press and saying you know we've been telling trump yo chill out don't don't like don't get all turned up on social media and you know have things go bad for you or don't post anything on social media that this you know da again elvin bragg uh manhattan da like that he can use against you because they're saying like there, there was a weapon in the post i don't know I, like they're not actually showing the post so I'm just sharing this with y'all. But um, I don't know, man, like what's going on with all this? I, I talked about this in another video recently, like Stormy Daniels is back in the mix. I thought that all this, you know, him possibly getting arrested ish had to do with like some Russia ish or or some ish with the um, confidential or whatever documents or you know what I mean? And I don't know. They're saying something about the Stormy Daniels hush money. It's all so confusing. But Trump was like saying he was going to be arrested like last week. It never happened. I don't know. But uh, reportedly, whoever that's close to him, this source that's speaking to the press is saying, yo, they're telling him, yo, fall back. Be easy. You know, I don't know. And, and what do you guys think? Um, uh, you know, for those that stay up on all the political ish, what do you guys think the chances of him really getting like back in the election or back in office? Do, do y'all really see that happening? I want to know. All right, y'all. So I'm afraid of AI. I, I, I'm not even capping. I, I've shared this before. Um, there's like, it's just, there's a lot of tricky ish going on. And, um, you know, as AI pertains to hip hop, right? Like just the whole discussion of being afraid of AI encompasses so much. So I'm just going to kind of keep it to, to music and hip hop and, and things of that nature. Um, you see Crooked Eye, who we just got to stop and always whenever his name comes up in the news point out that he's just so dope one of the greatest uh rappers kind of like an unsung hero i, I don't want to say he he gets no props but he don't get nowhere near uh, you know the props that he should but crook don't do it for the props right but people what he says here he says um my bad y'all this shit's hard to read let's say someone unknown recorded an entire album using the ai generated voice of a retired rapper and it sounded spot on would you listen me personally i say fluck no you know what i mean like i, I don't like this where like i don't know if you guys saw there's these joe rogan podcasts with i think like steve jobs and there's a couple fake ones out there that never happened where they've like duplicated joe rogan's voice and I just I don't know man and you know a lot of people are saying man it's getting spooky how how like authentic this ish is sounding and then you hear that I can't think of what that other one what is it chat is it chat dot ai or something that that one app that you know they're saying kids in school now can be like yo write me an essay on blah 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 and um I don't know and like it'll or tell me a story about this. And like, you know, they're like, our oh, kids are going to be cheating on their homework. And, it, and it'll just like write it all out for them. And some people are saying the results are, are pretty good. And I just don't like this, man. Like, I, I don't like the fact what Crooked Eye's talking about right here. Um, I hope this never happens. Seems it's probably going to happen. Um, you know, there's some people speculating that there might have been individuals already using AI to write their bars. And this, like, I just don't like this ish, man. You know, like, in my opinion, uh, like, man versus machine. I don't know. Like, they should, I guess machine will be smarter than man. But I don't know, because man program machine. But man did it, you know, like, they're the, cre man is the creator of machine. But they, you know, make it to where it can just have capabilities beyond our, our brain, you know. 
So it's smarter in that sense. But shouldn't we be more creative than AI? I don't know. It just this whole thing freaks me out. You know, Skynet, Terminator, all that. I, I don't like it. What do you guys think about this? Um, this AI, man, where they're just like, for real, is there an impending AI takeover? Let's talk about it. Like, network. Is it close or is it off or is it? Honestly, the I'm going to let everybody know now. Yeah. So when you go check this network and that shit be sending some crazy numbers. Right. I don't have a cent close to that shit. Really? Right. Yeah, I don't have that. But I guess they be meaning that's what I'm worth. So I be always calling my agent like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to fire the shit out of you because I don't need you. Or Google <laughs> let me know what I, you know what I mean? And he's like, no, it's not I true. Mean, it's I'm not like, true. I'm a zillion dollar. On Google, so, and, I wonder how they come up with that shit. I you mean, know? and they smart. They are smart, so they know what they're talking about. I just, but how it's motivation. They... That's all. It's just motivation. Okay. Have a phone call. Have a bad conversation with your girl. To end with you ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your head. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. How about Weezy there? Right. You see, they're saying Hove is worth like 2.5 billion or something like that. And what was the number for Wheezy? Was it 150 million net worth? He's saying, yo, that ish ain't accurate at all. But, um, you know, net worth is different than the money you have, you know, because there's like assets and other things like that. But aside from that, um, I don't know. I'd be feeling like these numbers ain't really accurate. The Hove one is done by Forbes. So I'm feeling like that's got to be a little more accurate. You know, for all them finance gurus and ish out there, y'all let me know what you guys think about this. But I thought this was just funny, you know. We like, hell no, nah. like, you're tripping. But then at the same time, he said, yo, when, when, when a chick tells me you ain't ish, I said, yo, you better type in Google. Better type it, type it, type me up in Google, bitch. <laughs> but uh, that's it for the news on this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub up. Stay tuned. Let me know if y'all want to kick a live off later. For those that tap in regularly, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.